In the petroleum starting gate in motion here for race number three from Red Shores in Charlottetown this afternoon. Let's send it back upstairs to track announcer Vance Cameron for the call. Job offer trade to Nitina. Lorne Valley Barb, the box is a girl to be on Rose. Scratch down to a field of five here in the third. They're at the top of the stretch. Here they come. Rough and pacing, top of her trade will lead him out at the rail. Second to the turn, Tony Tina from the outside. Lorne Valley Barbie's third to get away fourth. The boss is a girl, then the trailer. That's Le'Veon Rose at the eighth pole, top of her trade at the rail. To her outside comes Lorne Valley Barb, set to take over. Now in third is Tooney Tina, racing fourth. The box is a girl, trailing the field. That is Le'Veon Rose. Or over to the opening quarter, Lorne Valley Barb made the lead for Miles Shepard and Sr. Now second, top of her trade, around the turn third. Tooney Tina, the boss is a girl, fourth, trailing the field. Le'Veon Rose, 28 and 3. Solid opening quarter for these conditions today. Down the stretch for time one. On route to the opening half mile, led by Lorne Valley Barb. Top of her trade goes second, then in third is Tooney Tina. There goes the boss is a girl underway on the outside, fourth. And on the outside, the trailer. That is Le'Veon Rose. They're well grouped as they arrived at the midway point, led by. Lorne Valley Barb in 59 and 2. First up on the outside, the boss is a girl run alongside the leader. Top of her trade at the rail, third, Le'Veon Rose from the outside, fourth. Now the trailer, Tooney Tina, they're on the back stretch going to three quarters. On the outside, the leader, the boss is a girl, Lorne Valley Barb is second. Top of her trade to the outside third. She's coming three wide. Now fourth, that is Le'Veon Rose. And the trailer is Tooney Tina. The three quarters up in one. 29 and four. Three high down to an eighth to go. And the farthest one out. Top of her trade has taken over the lead. The boss is a girl now second. Lorne Valley Barb third. Then in fourth, Le'Veon Rose. They're in deep stretch now. Welcome to Charlotte. Down, top of her trade and Doyle on the line. Second to Bosch is a girl to be on Rose. Third, time for the mile in one. 59 2. Well, we mentioned uh, she was a newcomer uh, to Charlottetown uh, here this afternoon, and this was a real nice drive by uh, Taylor Doyle today. Taylor did not panic, and boy, did he make a nice drive. Second part of the mile here. We'll take you through it here. Early on, Lauren Valley Barb won at the front for Heffern in 28 and 3. They were over there pretty good today. Track off two seconds, 59 and 2. Jill came first, the boss of the girl. Mark followed Livy and Rose. Taylor did not panic, sat on the three hole. They raced up the back stretch, and he made that winning move. He was out and around three wide, and this horse had lots of pace down the stretch here. It was a super drive. You can see her here now. She's full of pace on the end of a top of her trade. Makes the move to PEI and gets it done here for Doyle. 159 and 2. They win race number 3 and they're back in the Red Shores Winter Circle. Next.
the newcomer to Charlottetown will make her debut a winning one on this wet Saturday afternoon at the driving park. That is top of her trade here in the third. Bay facing Philly Three, the Boltador, from the presidential ball dam career success. Owned by Crazy Eight of Charlottetown. Taylor Doyle training and driving. Top of the model at 159 and two fifths. Top of her trade in her Charlottetown debut. The management and staff at Red Shores want your experience to be fun and entertaining. That is why we offer information on how our games work, tips to keep your gambling fun, and available community resources. For more information, please speak to one of our PlayWise advisors or stop by the PlayWise Information Center. 